Hey guys, this is Blade here, and today we're going to be playing a game called Half-Life Source. So without further ado, let's get started. Yes, play anyway. I don't know why it's saying that. Valve. Alright. Powered by Source. Copyright 2010. Oh, why my eye is really bothering me. It's like stinging. <laughs> so, options. Oh, man, I gotta keep peeking at it. Easy difficulty. There's my keyboard. Man, still got the console enabled. Mouse. Audio, my video, the graphics turn on low. I guess I always play on. I always play on low graphics because it's better performance. And I always uh, play in 720p. Like a lot of people are playing 1080p or 4K. I play in 720 because I don't want to rack up the CPU use. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Okay. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System. For use in hazardous environment conditions. Okay. Uh, what do I do? Oh, there it goes. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. The scientists up there. Good work. Those new suits can be tricky. Please proceed with the You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode. Minimizing movement noise. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room, where you will have to do both moves at the same time. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Nice job. 
do it. Do it. <laughs> Loading. Walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. Thank you. If you want to come back down, just hey. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Yep. Don't be surprised. Yep. 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 Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need long to learn. Jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the Nice job. You move so quickly in this fucking game. Ow. Major fracture detected. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing engage. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. Detected. Heck. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, yes. a med kit cannot be reused. Yes. Thank you for the explanation. Holographic lady. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. And I'm as I go long jump. Fantastic. Loading. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key... What the ew? I stepped on a fucking roach. Damn it. Finally, if nothing else works, crowbar. you can try breaking the ice. Make Jesus sure you picked Christ. up the crowbar. That is fucking loud. <laughs> Let's turn the volume down just a little bit. Then simply smash your way. What the oh? Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Hour 15%. Hour 30%. Hour 45%. Hour 60%. Hour 75%. Great. Remember your flashlight drain power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing the Holy shit. and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. I just fucking grenaded myself. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. That's a but start. if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses, rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
completed the Black Mesa target range. Please advance to the next area. Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find... Oh, shit. Come up and catch your breath. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the... Oh, this just is the charging button. unit for your hazardous environment. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Ow. Ow. Oh shit. Proximity to radiation activates the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the luminous icon. So don't fall on that. Warning. Hazardous radiation levels. Please advance detected. to the next area. I smell an ambush. We'd better be careful. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit sure, system. I'll follow you. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you into the basement. I would really like a cold one right now. Will you shut up? Your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will pick it up in the next one. Time I'm out. Peace.